What's up, guys? I'm Brennan. This is Jade. And Joel. Welcome to our crib. Come on in. I mean, I always, you know, dreamed of being one of the best bull riders ever, and to see it come alive and to, to be able to buy a place like this with 60 acres, you know, it's it's a pretty big accomplishment for me. This is our kitchen. We do about 50-50. Brennan's the breakfast cooker. I'm more of the lunch cooker. He's the morning person. Him and Jay get up and have coffee every morning. Oh yeah, this is our spot. <laughs> we both like to eat. We both like our coffee. This is where we sit down and eat most of the time. There's a formal dining in the other room, but this is where we It's usually just eat us dinner. three, so we usually just eat here at the bar and got a little dining room if we have a few more friends over and this is where we'll have like bigger meals and stuff sitting right here. That, uh, this table was Brennan's grandpa's and he let us have it, it's pretty cool. And this is the living room. This is where we spend most of our time. It's where me and Jade hang out and play all day. Kick back on the couch, watch TV, drag out all of her toys, you know. Uh, these are some boots from whenever I was little. These are some spurs, Brennan, one in Reno. Trophy from Calgary, just some, you know, random stuff from along the way. Some Pendleton bottles he went at the NFR. Um, let's see, one of his family members gave us this cool little statue. Jade always points at it and says, Daddy Bull. Daddy Bull, this is where Jade, this is where she likes to watch this Daddy ride. This is where she just right here. has She'll drag out all them toys out right there and say, yeah, Dad, ride bulls, huh? As soon as I pull in the driveway, you know, I, I just get a sense of relief and, you know, one, knowing I'm going to get to see my wife and kid, and two, knowing that I'm home all week and, and I don't have to worry about anything because it's our place. This is my and Joel's bedroom. This is Jay Jolene's room. You can't tell with all the toys. This is probably one of my most favorite rooms in the house. This is her favorite place right here, her books. Do you see a cuddly kitten? Say, ah. This is the trophy room. This is kind of the, the man cave, I guess you could call it. This is where we got all of my buckles and checks and back numbers hung up. And uh, it's kind of all the stuff I've won through the years through my career riding bulls. And, this is where I kind of come back and hang out, you know, when they're gone or whatever, just come back and just get some me time. And it's really crazy to think, um, you know, if you look at all these buckles or these pictures, where all they're from, I mean, just California, New Mexico, New York, Canada. I mean, I've been, it's just been everywhere. Um, I think it's really just about setting yourself up for life after bull riding because we can only do it so long. You know, we could have very easily spent that money and blew through it, you know, having fun. I'm not saying, you know, most of us didn't have fun to, along the way because, I mean, that's just part of it. I've been really fortunate and blessed to be able to, to put my money back and put it into things for when my bull riding career is over, that I've got a roof over my family's head and, you know, we've got land to run cattle and stuff. We've got a backup plan. Go check out what else we got going on here. About Dan life here at Eldridge Cattle. We got about 90 head of mama cows and we own about oh, 140 acres and we got a 200 acre lease. So I mean, it's, it's, it's year round around here, you know, when I'm not on the road, I'm taking care of these stock, bucking bulls, bucking calves, going through new ones. That, that's it, it's, it's, uh, it's non-stop around here. Before we moved here, we actually lived just like a mile down the road. Um, we leased this place from a lady and she offered it to us for sale and it was kind of a deal we couldn't pass up and it was definitely a perfect setup for our livestock and everything and so that was about two years ago and we've just kind of slowly, you know, put a fresh coat of paint on everything and 
put up some new fences and stuff like that. So yeah, I think that's that's kind of where we're at. You know, once we kind of outgrow this place, we'll kind of just sell all the places that we got south of here that's 80 acres and we keep cows on. So I'd like to have everything at one spot one day, but um, you know, I, I, I gotta be happy where I'm at right now. Yeah. Well guys, that's it. Thanks for stopping by Elger Cattle. We enjoyed it, but it's time for y'all to go. Have safe travels, bye.